Hey guys, welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. I'm Rick, and today we're coming with another cooler review. Now we're still in the twenty to thirty dollar price bracket, but today we have a really interesting product. It's the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim. So it's a cooler. We're going back to a three heat pipe design, but let's start with an overview of the cooler. So. As I just said, the Be Quiet uh, Pure Rock Slim offers a three copper heat pipe design with an aluminum fin stack. Now they've added a aluminum plate to the top of the fin stack with aluminum caps on the top. You're getting a 92 millimeter fan this time around with that can go up to 2000 RPM and it's still a four pin fan so it is PWM compatible. Be Quiet rates this cooler for up to 120 watts TDP and the overall dimensions on the cooler are 124 millimeters high by 97 millimeters wide and 81.8 millimeters deep including the fan. Uh, the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is also compatible with all modern sockets all the way up to AM4 straight out of the box so you don't need any adapter or any additional kit right out of the box you have compatibility for the new Ryzen processors so um, Pure Rock Slim is a very interesting cooler um, we're gonna see a, a, the performance in a couple of minutes but as I mentioned one of the really nice touches that Be Quiet's included on this cooler is even though it's their uh, budget entry level uh, CPU cooler they put the aluminum plate at the top here with the aluminum uh, caps. It actually brings, gives the cooler a really, really nice look to it. And it doesn't make it feel like a budget cooler. So even though you're paying under 30 bucks for this cooler, because here in Canada, the MSRP is 30, and I believe it's around 25 in the US. Well, overall, the cooler gives the feel that it's higher end than that. And obviously, Be Quiet's uh, design is focused on low noise levels, even at full RPMs on the fan. So we're going to be looking over the numbers over the next few minutes to see if, that's, if that holds true even at the budget level. The other nice thing about this cooler is there's actually a uh, cold plate, a aluminum cold plate here that distributes the heat to the copper heat pipes. This is generally a design that you see on higher end coolers as well. And it's really fun to see it on a budget cooler because for anyone who does a lot of installation or that if you clean off your thermal paste or, or do a lot of building, it's really a lot easier to clean a cold plate like this than when the copper pipes are directly touching the CPU. So without further ado, let's start by looking over the performance. So if we start with temperatures, before that we're just going to talk really quickly about the methods I use for testing. So as all my other tests, all my CPU coolers are compared with a, using a Ryzen 3 1200 that's overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz and using 1.3 volts to hit that overclock. When we're going to be looking at the sound performance, I use my portable sound meter, which is placed about one foot away from the CPU cooler to simulate someone that is playing with the CPU cooler on their desktop. So basically, if you play with your computer, you know, about this far from you, because uh, it's sitting on your desk, well, that's about where we're testing the CPU cooler at. So, without further ado, let's start by looking at the um, performance numbers. So, if we start with the temperatures. So, the temperatures overall, the uh, Deep Cool, the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim uh, gave a 29 delta temperature, so 29 degrees above the ambient temperature in the room. Placing it about even with the Gamax 300 and slightly behind the Hyper Evo 212. So it's not the best performing cooler, but it was probably to be expected since this one has a 92 millimeter fan and a three heat pipe design, and the Hyper 212 has a 120 millimeter fan and a four heat pipe design. So it's not surprising that it's slightly behind, although it's still giving pretty solid performance. Now if we look at the noise, noise is what Be Quiet is known for and overall uh, Be Quiet hasn't disappointed with this cooler because the way I do my tests by the way the fan is locked to 100% so at maximum RPMs this uh, the CPU cooler was only emitting 42 decibels making it tied with the quietest cooler we had before that which was the Ryzen stock cooler 
And that's maybe somewhat of an unfair comparison just because the rising stock cooler pushes the air down towards the motherboard while the be quiet pushes it uh, away from the motherboard like across to the uh, GPU or to the front depending. So when you're using a sound meter obviously without a case since I'm using an open air test bench it's maybe a little bit unfair. Tower coolers are always going to sound louder than coolers that are pushing down towards the motherboard since the case isn't there to uh, multiply the sound and carry it further. So it's good to know that Be Quiet has not uh, faltered on their delivery of a very quiet product. And by the way, when this fan is spinning at like 50, uh, 50 percent, which is normal at idle or even during gaming, you're not going to be under full load all the time. Uh, you cannot hear it. It's almost like having a passive cooler, like the fan is hyper quiet. It's really not disappointing at all on that end. So overall, if we come to the conclusion of, you know, do I recommend this cooler? Is it a good cooler? Honestly, I am really pleased with the product that Be Quiet has delivered. It's not the best performer. And if you are aiming for top notch overclocks on high end processors, like a Ryzen 5 1600X or higher, or a i5 76K or higher, uh, it's probably not going to be the cooler for you. However, if you are, uh, if you have a processor like a Ryzen 3 or an i3 and you're overclocking, this will probably get you all the way to the maximum you can push it. And overall, it would be honestly, for the moment, out of all the coolers we've selected, if you can afford the $30, this would be my primary choice. The reason why is just because, although it's not the best performer, the fact that it's so silent and that they've actually put the attention to aesthetic details, if you have an open air, if you have an open case with a window, uh, it's really worth putting a cooler like this in just because it'll make your look your build look more higher end than it is and it's really fun to see a manufacturer that has actually put details into the aesthetics like this even at the budget end so if we resume if you're running a Ryzen 3 or a i3 and you want to push your overclocks all the way this cooler will get you there and for the moment it is my my personal perfect choice However, if what your point is, if you're running a CPU a processor that's higher than a Ryzen 3, like a Ryzen 5 1600X, like I said, or higher, or if you're running an i5 7600K or higher, and your point is to go get that 5 gigahertz with, with Intel or the 4 giga, gigahertz with Ryzen, this is maybe not the cooler you should be looking at, just because it doesn't have the performance to deliver it in the end. However, if you're going to be content with a somewhat middle of the road overclock, like 3.8 on Ryzen or uh, somewhere around 4.5 on Intel, then by all means go with this cooler. You will not be disappointed. And if overall the aesthetics in the build is something that's important to you, it gives it a really nice, clean, decent look. So I'm normally a, a numbers guy and I really like whatever is best performing. But honestly, this cooler has surprised me and has actually really, I really appreciated the design elements because like I said, normally these type of elements you only see like in Noctua high-end coolers or in the Be Quiet products, but at a much higher price, like $50 and up. So this cooler really impressed me. Although, like I said, uh, Be Quiet could have put in a 40 copper heat pipe, a slightly bigger fin stack and made it more you know perform a little stronger but i think that as i mentioned before if you follow my guidelines if you're running the processors i mentioned you won't be disappointed with this product and it's something that i can personally recommend and it's actually the first be quiet cooler that i've personally tested i've installed some on a couple of rigs for other people but never on one of my own and i'm not disappointed and it's convinced me that once we get to the above 30 dollar bracket I will be bringing in some other Be Quiet coolers for testing because uh, they've just convinced me that they have some very decent and very, uh, very affordable and overall nicely designed products. So as usual, I hope you guys appreciated this review. If you want to help back the channel directly, my Patreon link will be down below. 
if ever you want to pick up this cooler, I will have my Amazon affiliate links in the description as well. Uh, the cooler will be the same price for you guys and it will give a kickback to the channel. So it's win-win for both of us. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, down below and I will answer as many as possible. And, uh, you know, as usual, likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. So if you guys uh, can take a couple of seconds and leave me a like, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, anyway, overall, guys, I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.